what's up guys, Bajiri here, bringing you some of my arms workout from yesterday. So I don't normally train arms as their own thing, but like I talked about in my last video, I've made some changes to my workout routine. So today I was working my biceps, my triceps, and I was giving my shoulders just a little bit more love because they weren't feeling as sore as I might have expected from the other day. So just get a little bit more reps in them while they're recovering. And who knows, I think they need to grow and if they're not sore, I'll work them again, especially if it's the arms day, I do whatever I want to do. But yeah, it's been a long time since I devoted a whole day just to doing curls and triceps and stuff like that, but it was a lot of fun. And I'm definitely feeling a little bit of soreness in my arms today, which is rare. Sometimes I feel a little bit sore in my arms from like something like back day because, you know, I, I do recruit a lot of biceps into my back exercises and I think I get the best pump in my biceps from doing pulling exercises like pull-ups. But I do think there is value in training arms, specifically isolating your biceps, isolating your triceps, isolating your shoulders. So that's what I was doing today. And I was doing a mix of heavy weight with, you know, kind of sloppier form and then lighter weight like this, like 35s, with a little bit cleaner form. Really trying to get a good squeeze going. But I think dabbling in the heavier weight like I've been doing recently, especially since I've been eating more, having better energy, feeling stronger, I feel like dabbling in the heavier weight is a good thing to do. But you also might want to, you know, once you once you get fatigued from lifting the heavy weight, you know, try to get some lower weight, get some clean reps in. And for me, that leaves me with like the best sort of feeling that I want to have in my arms. Like a good pump, but also, you know, a good balanced amount of fatigue. You know, it's not just you're tired from lifting a whole lot of weight. You actually do get the full extension, full stretch and squeeze, which I like so much. I'm rolling up the sleeves for these curls. Now this makes me think I need to train my triceps and my shoulders more, which is obvious. But it seems like, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm doing curls, but it looks like my bicep overpowers my arms a little bit, at least in this particular situation. So I gotta get more tricep going. Gotta get more more tricep activation higher up on my tricep. I think I've got good tricep genetics. I always really admired my dad's triceps, actually. The way that, you know, when, you, when you're looking straight at him, his triceps stick out to the sides. It's freaking badass, so. I am built a lot like my dad, so I think that I can probably try to get these triceps to grow. And you guys talk about my calves needing to grow, too. I agree. My dad has the most wicked calves I've ever seen in my entire life. And I need to you know, make use of those, those badass genetics and train those babies, so. Triceps and calves, we gotta get those things to grow, because our genetics are too good to not let those muscles be the best they can be. And I love tricep pushdowns, but I probably do need to figure out how to do close grip bench press, maybe even some dips. I didn't do that dip machine that I, that I liked so much uh, today, uh, during this workout, but uh, close grip bench press also gives me that little weird feeling in my elbow that dips do, but there's this dip machine that I've shown you in one of my recent workout videos that actually doesn't hurt my elbows as much. So I am probably have to look into doing that one for some, for some more different kind of tricep development. And I think that the close grip pushing movements are what give you that uh, that solid high tricep growth. At least that's how it feels to me. We'll have to, you know, incorporate it into my workout routine for a couple weeks and see how it goes. So yeah, I was doing some curls with dumbbells earlier. Then I was also coming over to this cable machine and doing some curls because you can really, really control this because you got it at an angle. You know, it's coming off the ground, so it's pretty much constant resistance. But you don't really have like the the sort of changes that occur with a dumbbell, so you can really squeeze it. And I definitely was, oh man, these reps hurt so bad at the end, but that's the ones that count, guys. Once you're once you're in pain, once you think that you can't go on anymore, see if you can't get another one or two reps out of yourself, because those are the ones that help you grow. Anyway, this is just a quick little video, just a quick little arms workout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to head off to the gym here pretty soon for leg day, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.